I've never done anything like this, so to be able to give it a shot has been a dream come true. This is this is this is new for me. I'm I'm a I'm a virgin. I've never done one of these big huge pictures before and look at this taking over Hollywood Boulevard. This, this is cool. Well, this is great. I mean, you know, Marvel has such rabid fans. It's it's unbelievable. I mean, they've been lined up on the street. I think since this morning a couple of people said they spent the night out here, which is insane. I love it. And it's very hot today. As uh, I don't really have to tell you, but yeah, it's amazing. Fantastic. We are at the Dolby Theater, of course, and, and uh, as usual, Marvel has pulled an incredible turnout of very, very excited fans. And uh, the sun is shining, and we're going to watch a fantastic film. I've seen it, I know. Um, so it, the day is good. It feels really strange and cool to be part of the Marvel Universe. Um, but to put on that suit, which, by the way, I think it's the coolest looking suit of all of them. It's impossible not to feel a little bit like a superhero in that thing. You know, when they first approached me, and I've never done one of these before, never done an effects movie, and uh, I thought, wow, this would be really cool. And of course, the cool factor, as far as my kids were concerned, it scored me a lot of points. But the whole experience, the whole production, all the way down, the, the, uh, the Marvel team, Peyton Reed, the director, did a spectacular job. Paul Rudd, Evangeline, uh, Lily, Corey Soul, everybody. Michael Pena, so it's those nice experiences where uh, the script worked, everybody was uh, on full tilt, and it felt good when we were doing it. Well, the cast that I got to work with on Ant-Man is, is just bonkers. I mean, Paul Rudd, Michael Douglas, Evangeline, Lily, Corey Stoll, Michael Pena, it's just a, a row of sharpshooters. And they're all actors who are incredibly talented actors all around, dramatically and comedically. So. It was a fun set to, to be on. We had a lot of fun making the movie, and hopefully it comes across in the movie. I know. I think that, well, obviously, I think the shrinking down and seeing, this, seeing you know, familiar areas look like alien landscapes is, you know, a huge part of the draw, and it's a lot of fun. But in addition to the crazy visuals, I think that it's funny, it's heartfelt. I think the characters are easy to get kind of caught up with and caught uh, and get into their storylines. So hopefully it works on every level. Well, that was one of the fun things about Ant-Man and what I think makes it different than some of the other Marvel movies is that we, we got to come up with action sequences that took place in really strange places, like a bathtub or, or a briefcase and someone's backyard barbecue. That was really part of the fun of the movie. Um, and doing a character like Ant-Man allows you to do that. So we sort of had this freedom to invent these very strange action sequences. I think the fantasy aspect of being a, you know, in a superhero movie where you get to really play a caricature, like really, really extreme. You know, you don't have to look like the person who lives next door. You don't have to act like the person who lives next door. Um, that was really fun for me anyway. I think that I just love the idea that you're watching a fight on a train. You've seen this kind of scene in many films, but then to pull back and it's on a child's toy train set is unique and a lot of fun and that happens repeatedly throughout the film. Great fights inside of a briefcase, you know, with an iPhone flying around and keys and things like that. Uh, it's, a, it's a fun world to explore. The visual effects uh, from the ant's point of view, uh, they had four units shooting, that was the macro unit the, the, from the ant's point of view, is spectacular. And I, I think with all these other films sort of getting bigger and bigger, to take it in reverse down to this small size was, was really impressive. They did a great job.